Hello, Ministers. It is Mel C. Reth, and today we are venturing into some new territory by playing Pokemon Showdown. Now, if you wonder why I'm so small, it's so that I can fit into the Pokemon battle screen without being too intrusive. So, to anyone who is unfamiliar with me, I'm a variety VTuber streamer on Twitch and content creator. Uh, the recently revitalized interest in Pokemon. Uh, seeing how far I can take it, and we've already achieved 1500 rating in all of our gens, uh, which is something I have done offline as a personal goal. But uh, now we're seeing if I can perhaps make some enjoyable Pokemon content for my channel and live stream. And so that is what we're going to be doing today. We are on a alt I've made for this purpose. We've laddered a bit with it on stream. So we already have some progress in all of our OU gens. I'll just hide myself for a second. Now nah, to show that a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what our goal is going to be uh, with this account or uh, with the lives. Like, am I going for number one in each gen OU? Quite possibly. Um, that, would, that seems like the logical next step from uh, 1500 in every gen. But uh, I won't talk too much past that point. We'll just get into the battles from here. We're going to be using uh, Insane in the Rain's playlist today. Uh, beautiful artist, musician, composer. Can't recommend their Pokemon and other type music enough. Great jazz remixes. Uh, we're also going to be using this program called the show decks which is very helpful for uh, faster calcs you just have to be careful about the sets you'll see what i mean uh, in the game when it comes up i'll explain it and we also have of course the traditional calc because there are some issues with this one that are not major to make it not worth using of course but there are things to keep in mind that it does not uh, account for uh, for example, it only shows Pokemon that exist, so in gens without team preview, uh, if you know a mod is coming, you will basically have to uh, go and calc that yourself. And we'll start with the Gen 5 OU game. One of my weaker gens, to be sure. One I want to improve in, because I, uh, I think I have issues with the faster pacing of it. Because there's, it's weird because there's some very traditionally defensive Pokemon, but they don't actually slow the game down at all, almost like how they um, do in other generations. For example, Ferrothorn does a lot more. I'm going to turn this down just a little. Hmm. It's really loud to me, but I, I checked the balancing earlier and it was okay. So I think it was, I think it's fine. But yeah, Pokemon like Ferrothorn, uh, Hippowdon, tend to slow the game down more in other gens. So Black and White's kind of fascinated me in how uh, the pace always stays at breakneck, or at least it does in these latter games. I understand that offense is more traditionally ran. Um, uh, yeah, I should shrink my model a little bit. Maybe over here. But from there, uh, it should mostly be good. I'm just trying to make it so that it doesn't interfere at all with the uh, battle, which is quite a challenge because my Shodex takes the bottom right corner. Uh, I can't be anywhere down here because how the, how the moves work. Uh, but we'll experiment with that over time and see how it goes. So, right, first game, uh, with a decently threatening team. 12-28. So, real human being. <laughs> Not to say that in like a disparaging way. Um, I'm actually going to lead Reuniclus controversially because yeah, something like that. Um, I feel like you got a U-turn. Hmm. I'm really not worried about that in the slightest though. Just gonna hit a nice, yeah, that is absolutely nothing. 
hit a nice thunder on the weave if it hits and classic in class <laughs> why would it um this kind of sucks obviously can't switch out well i should have switched out it appears oh <laughs> well we're not off to the greatest start are we well in that case i'm just gonna yeah die and lose a pokemon for free because you know such is the way of mons sometimes thunder o code guaranteed what a shame I don't know what, mm, I don't think this can compellingly hurt me, so I'm actually just gonna um, wind it. Oh, thank goodness. Some beautiful chip there. Wind on this too, it probably yeah, gets up rocks. Maybe I could have EQ'd there, but it's okay. Just gonna spam the wind on him for the time being. I don't wanna let him get too much more momentum than he already got. This could have grass knot, which I'm very concerned about the damage that may do to me. I don't want to scout it though, either. I could have to. I'm going to slack. Okay, good. I'm just going to slack because it was not, an, if it was not, I could go into drill and maybe punish. It'll be a little telegraphed, but, you know, it'll be okay. He does get the Wisp to start dealing damage. Maybe I should have EQ I should have EQ'd, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of a moron for that play, aren't I? Yeah, that's why he keeps going to Gengar. Because, <laughs> why wouldn't you, um... EQ the Infernape, which I should have done the first time. That was kind of dumb of me. It was extremely dumb of me, actually. But it's okay, though. I'm not sure. It seems like there's not actually a way for this guy to break through um, Hippo. Especially because this thing is not going to be doing Shack to me with Ice Shard. Or I guess Night Slash. Doesn't Night Slash have high uh, critical hit ratio? I actually need to... Be careful of that. Yeah, what if it crits? Oh wait, no, it doesn't do anything. It does nothing on a crit, so I'm just gonna, yeah, stall that out. Uh, at this point, this thing's gonna die to rocks. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Hippo, like, solo clears his entire team. Shout out to Hippo, though. For that. He's a real one. I'm not worried about what this can do to me. Well, I should have been. Oh my gosh. A specs. Oh, I should have accounted for that. Yeah, that, oh, that's so terrible for me, actually. That is so god awful for me, actually. Um, well, let me magnet rise. Critical and classic. Yeah, I think I just lost the game. And quite unfortunately. Yeah, I sure did. That's... This is gonna be a tough one to hold. My hippo just sticks out. I should've just went hard zone. I should have went hard zone. Yeah, there's no reason you don't go hard zone. Like, whatsoever. I can't even stay in here because of SD. Oh, we use Fire Blast. <sighs> oh, this is. This sucks so much. I right, will have to sect some. Even though at this point my Pharaoh dies too. Gosh. And Weavile kills me. 
Fox Night Slash. <laughs> Pursuit Okos me too. And I can't. My drill can't. Actually, I can still win from here. Orb Chip does kill it. So I have to. I should always gamble this. Um, switch. Right? Yes. Always gamble. Dang it. <laughs> it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. No way you guys storm here. Actually, there's a very high chance they go storm here. I have to go. Okay, good. As much as it pains me viciously. No balloon. No balloon is big. Take away the balloon. I theoretically owe go. Oh, I don't have choice locks. I'm so bad at mods. I'm terrible. <laughs> I forget them. But, well, I could have said, still my fair thorn. I swear I'm not this bad. Listen, I just woke up before I started this recording. I realized this is literally the only time slot in this week that I have to, uh, to do this. Recording, so I really needed to get it done. And so I apologize for the uh, bad play. It's scarfed. Oh my gosh. Well, I can't say I didn't deserve this loss. <laughs> my hippo just sold his entire. T my, I had a free. I had a free lead six zero with hippo, but I gave it up. So I can't say anything except I deserve it. That's just, you know, oh, that's going to bother me the entire rest of this. <laughs> it might be a short session if I keep doing more stuff like that. So then the self-deprecation is going to kick in. It's going to be bad. Uh, no reason to lead hit. I should keep thinking they're going to lead Starmie, but I should just not expect them to lead Starmie. I just want to give them that momentum, yeah. <laughs> My Reuniclus does win now, if I'm careful. Only has two obstacles, and I can see I'm past both of them. There's some... What? Some what? Hick does that mean? Yeah, it's like this, for example. I'm not worried about what this is going to do to me. If I can just get my rocks up comfortably as it probably U-turns. And they star me or something. Maybe I should EQ. I'm actually going to EQ if Starmie's coming in. Because why wouldn't Starmie come in to spin? Nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm not I'm not this stupid I promise I promise what is wrong with me right now mm, let's go hard out uh, of class I don't take that at all okay so I just lose to star me it's specs so I get a free Draco here or maybe I just, maybe I recover on them so much. This, this team's way too strong at this point, yeah. Do that. There's a U-turn here, so... I'm, I can't even do that, though. He's just gonna pivot into Stormy, okay. <laughs> I have to go zone here, even though it's a free switch to Garchomp. He has so much momentum on me from... from this, unfortunately.
unfortunately. I can't touch this Stormy is the problem. This Stormy like lead six as my team almost. That's going to do obscene amounts of damage. But I'm just going to have to hold them out. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Oh, I just have to die here. <laughs> I mean, I'm so far behind at this point. I have to go for this crazy insane. There we go. Crazy play, but it's one that had to be made. And not only that, but I have to surf as well. On the yes, beautiful. Right, we're making some crazy plays, but it's what we gotta do. I. <laughs> Should have known it was Scarf. Should have reacted to that. But we break this balloon. We actually crit. Which is insanely good for us. Uh, Slotius has one more nuke in it. So I need to keep it alive. But yeah, it's going to be a thing of like at what cost. I probably need... I should give up my Ferrothorn here. Perhaps... It would be the best time to, especially considering Dragonite's Rise has fire coverage. I shouldn't get him up. Getting him up is insane. Uh, let's just whip for some chip. Hashtag whip for chip, because it uh, made a plus six. Does this Oko with E speed? It does. I shouldn't have allowed this. Oh, he only goes to plus three, though. So thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. My like Iron Head actually. In theory, I can. Mm. Iron Heading is bad, though. I can't get trapped by Zone, yeah. So it does an obscene amount of damage, but it's okay. Oh, wait, my Lodius just dies to sand. So I should have actually stayed in that turn. But then actually my whips would have killed and I would have taken less chip and taken less chip here. So that was actually a bad idea. Oh, of course it has a freaking double balloon cringe. Uh, well, yeah. It is what it is. Can I get away with a recover here? Let's find out. This is my... Do I get a recover off on anything else? That's the question. I actually do. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. My Latios does survive. But I kind of want Magnezone for Jirachi. Plus, if I go hard, so I can lose this exchange. Yeah, I should just win zone. Ooh. I mean, okay. A T wave. Twi uh, well, I'll go for a double T wave. Well, I just lose. GG. This is pathetic. <laughs> this is so pathetic for me. Yikes. I, I, yeah, I should do. <laughs> Lesson learned to not ladder after you wake up. I guess. I'm playing so bad. I mean, I I, I know I said I'm not good at black and white, but I'm not this bad at black and white either. Uh, at least this team is unserious. That's something we can uh, take with us, I suppose. Maybe you just lead a magnezone on the probable endless one. OK. 
can and take it, I guess. We should, I should do some other chants to warm up and then go into black and white, but... Hmm. Yeah, 12, 14 to 11, 83. The worst thing is our GXE's in shambles. This wasn't an account I wanted GXE on, though, so it's okay. We should do a... We just have a really nice thing going on in Gen 2. I don't want to sabotage that <laughs> with my god-awful skill level I'm displaying right now. Mono Electric is cool. So I'll say that to them as well. Like I said, that is a very interesting team indeed. Um, okay. You would think there's no reason to not wait Hippo, but actually, throw them wash. Stuntfisk leads in. Um, I'm gonna go Hippo, because it's probably just getting up rocks, yeah. That is a crit. Is it a max roll crit? I, I don't want to assume that. Let's just assume it's 252. Yeah. Although all that crit would have done infinitely more though. Okay, so I do actually live. I'm faster. <laughs> no, being faster than the stun fist is diabolical. Monotype electrical. Well, yeah, I, I, I caught on to that aspect of it, yes. Really okay. Nice. Honestly, I'm just gonna start boosting. I, I feel like he doesn't have anything to deal with this, yeah. I'm just shadow bolt do a plus one. Well, let's just assume it's like a uh, mod specs for some reason. So why not? A 59 to it. Alright. Oh my gosh, wait, it's actually boosting too. Do I lock myself into this war this early? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Alright then. I see. <laughs> it's, it happens. I, mean, I think I just win at this point, so let's get another. I'd rather play against a serious team. Uh, this HP Ice. Ooh. Okay. Tell him, bestie. Hard drill is wild. I'm doing it, though. Yeah. Watch it be like air balloon uh, zone. Okay, thank goodness. I guess I watch it feel like air balloon in um, some kind of. Oh, it doesn't, no body press doesn't exist, I don't think. And this gen, right? DT body press. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't think so. I mean, I can just go zone and, and bolt. <laughs> I cannot go zone and bolt. Oh my gosh. It's diabolical. Line the uh, Iron Head Shidoko. Yeah. And then this is a cool team here. I like the Jellison. I wonder if Jellison's fallen out of the meta or if it's just not in the samples. Because I didn't uh, see it there. I'm going to see it on the Wisp just to make it miserable for him. Protect, protect on the split is crazy. Um, they have a dangerous team. What do I expect them to lead? Probably Mamo. Or Titar. In both cases. Uh, Ferrothorn looks great here, so I'm just going to start with it. Yeah, because we can get in, we can start getting, uh, getting them up. Actually, I'm in a hard zone, just in case. 
it's kind of irresponsible of me because if he switches, uh, it's bad. But yeah, it didn't. It did uh, pan out for us. <laughs> Back into it myself. Um, maybe I rise. I actually should magnetize this. Nice. Cause he cussed up anyways, so that, that was actually a phenomenal move. Cause now. With my ground immunity, I actually kind of wreak havoc. I mean, Tyranitar's superpower kind of will ruin my entire day. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I mean, do I want the chip? I think it's better. Let me see what Laudius has served us. Is that chip meaningful? Not it does make surf a 2 KO, but that's not the kind of damage I'm looking for. Especially because with Water Absorb, I'm not going to be surfing much this game anyways. And Draco's already like a 2 hit kill. I'm actually going to go for T-Wave on this. That's going to be a lot more useful to me, I believe. Especially if I'm full Vera, so I guess I just get the best of both worlds, don't I? 22 that does no type of damage all right well let's just screw it if the yellow if the power of yellow wants to uh be on my side ah uh, hp firing is diabolical there i'm gonna magnetize just in case <laughs> he pursued it oh no Oh, you poor thing. Why would you pursue? Wait, don't I literally... Wait, I literally died of hazards. Okay, they are new. They're newer than I am coming back, that's for sure. These parahags are crazy. I, I apologize, my friend. I'm truly... I'm truly sorry for that. What does minus one superpower do to drill? Because I'm low-key tempted. 12.5 chance. See, I don't need health on my drill, is the thing. I mean, it would be nice for Sam to have to hit a Focus Blast on me. But I'm, because I'm Scarf, like I'm faster anyways. So I'm actually going to take a risk here. Because it is a huge risk, to be fair. But... Well, actually, no, I can't. I sh this is a stupid thing to do. Because my, um... I don't, I don't even need to get rid of hazards. This was a god-awful move. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. <laughs> no, I should have went Pharaoh. Or something. My drill just, like, 6 was his entire team. And... Yeah, I don't... Not thinking again. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that panned out for me. Beautifully. So it's okay. Cause, cause, well, the reasoning was that he wasn't going to spin block with this because Titar, you know, is like dead. So why would it not? Um, oh, my gosh. And whipped on him, too. The whip is crazy. Well, I'm getting a call, but I'm gonna have to. Mm, here, let me be to take that one second because it's important. I apologize.
Right, so sorry about that. I just had to take it because it was important. Um, so what do I, what the heck do I do here? This save is such a big problem. I don't want to, um, when I do survive a hit, it's just, I don't want to. It doesn't have grass. I, I think I have a team that does have grass not. Yeah. Grass not to hippo. It's gonna do devastating damage, but I'll have to risk it. I, did, I, I realized I didn't answer him. So we should. Yeah, it does have it. Gosh, I'm cooked. Problem is, it's. Sash is such a big issue for me. But you know what? At this point, my surf kind of wins too. This is honestly the least. I don't need Rio close to win this game at all. My, my win cons are Ladios and Trill. Um, this could be Sand Force, like a orb to me too. So that's something I need to be careful about. My HP Oko's, which is good. We go, goodbye. Tea time. Hmm. Here comes Drill, which is more of an issue than I care to uh, live with. This can go hard for and Because, I mean. This isn't to it killing my pharaoh, I don't believe. Oh wow, it's guaranteed. To <laughs> it's guaranteed to it killing. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we established that. Because in, in the worst case, my reuniclus can lay game one v one zam potentially. So that's not something I'm willing to like give up on. I'm not willing to give that uh, up in case it comes down to it, because it's starting to look like it could. Um, I don't want to risk this being Sash. I don't want to risk it. I mean, because this Ice Shard can do big damage to me. And Crash does want to kill me. Does it do that to... Oh, Crash kills uh, Drill too, though. Well, I go here because of its scarf. No, I'm not risking the speed tie. Um, if it's not, then... Yep, good. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely the right play to make. Because if I lost that Drill tie, I would have been in shambles. I'm adamant too, so if it was Jolly, it just took me it just sent me um i should sure has a very low chance to oko so i'm not even gonna i mean because it definitely oko's next turn so yeah get this taken care of and we should have this game in the bag uh, so let's see what we should queue up maybe a game of uh Gen 1. I'm feeling a Gen 1 game for sure. Ooh. Alright, well, might be GG here. Yeah. Oh, wait, do they not have a Shadow Ball? Oh, they might be focused last, last. This is why you need Shadow Ball. You can't be walled by Latios. Being walled by Latios is not, uh, gonna work out for you, so... Nice game there. We had three uh, win cons, so very comfortable win was uh, more or less uh, assured. Because once it, the drill locks into something, you know, Latios is in, so it either kills Latios and doesn't kill Drill, or, yeah, some variant of that. I guess you could rock slide flinch me like four times and then 
<laughs> cry myself to sleep uh, after ending the live, but that was not what happened, so thank goodness for that. Some Gen 1, we'll see if we can get a game here. I do love me some RBY. How would I break these gens? See, it's weird because I was never super, super into Pokemon. And I'm also just recently coming back as well. So I'm kind of just getting my bearings at the moment with the environment. Not to, um... Ooh, 65 DXE. Which is <laughs> still got awful, but... <laughs> well, on the come up, on the come up. Much better than 62, right? <laughs> yeah, just on the comeback for me, so... Looking forward to, uh... Right, so I mentioned being a streamer. Um... How I'm thinking about splitting Pokemon up is, you know, as the tradition uh, for this channel, if I continue doing it. This isn't just a phase for me, for my interests. Um, how I've been thinking about doing it is doing stuff like laddering and uh, tournament matches if I get that far. Because I, I do, uh, I do have an interest definitely in becoming like more and more uh, competitive. Because um, <laughs> I swear at my best, I have potential as a player, and I'm not this. Uh... <laughs> I'll have the brain fog of just waking up and such. In uh, in normal circumstances, and this is oh, this distracting me. I apologize. Do we just pair this? Yes, actually. If it wants to hypnosis me, it can do that. I still want it to explode on me. The well, explosion doesn't even kill, which is crazy. Oh, really? Come on now. It still doesn't kill me, so I'm going to show off that. Am I actually though? I don't think so. Guess I'm actually gonna go lax now. Cause I, I need this to be healthy for my, to go for like one or two sleep powder attempts. Really? Double sleep? Or is this just like fully offensive? I'll slam on it. Stuns for curious. Is this like something people are doing? <laughs> RBY moment. No, I'm kidding. That's just normal crits. That's not a non RBY moment. Remember, BKC actually made a great uh, thing about that. That like it's not a it's not an RBY uh, moment for something that happens in normal Pokemon. That not to say that there can't be, there can certainly be RBY moments, but. Uh, no, in this case, oh, I didn't say I have fun, my bad. You know, I'm no professional, but always happy to give some uh, advice. Um, the status game is huge. Explodes on me. Oh gosh. I can't really avoid this. Ex oh, I love this theme so much. Which one is it? Orbert Gate. Mm. Gen 4 music just hits in a, in a different. Just hits a different wavelength, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. All good. All good. I mean, you want to get your... Mm, 
I say that is pretty solid advice in general. Septus and Taurus. Similar is not viable, but he's for sure. You can. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. This actually is a low chance to do a kill me, so. Uh, oh, especially if it's just tossing. I'm gonna try to get my sleep off now. <laughs> I want a para. Oh, well that, that's another way that that happens. <laughs> uh, right, we'll, we'll go for freeze then. We'll go for our freeze if we can't get our para, I suppose. This thing walls my entire team if I don't freeze it. So, uh, if I don't freeze it. So, I need to make sure I get that. At least they're using the seismic toss instead of uh, going for a freeze of their own right now. I feel like they don't have Ice Beam almost for some reason. That is correct. No para in normal types. Which is, which is one of the reasons they're so strong. In addition to their other strength, of course. Yeah, they are just kind of the best Pokemon in general. There's our freeze, which is actually good that we, because we can actually go for a second freeze. Um, if they don't switch out of this, but I'm gonna, of course, recover it for an event like this. Okay, so I'm gonna T wave. That's. Mmm. That sucks for me a lot, actually. Yeah, the Colonel My Snorlax actually is. Ooh. I kind of need it to full para here. Almost. Because I can't give up my. Oh, beautiful. Thank goodness. My explosion does less than my psychic, which is diabolical, so let me just go for some para hacks. Which I don't get. What kind of damage is Zapdos doing? Sizable damage more than Tauros' Blizzard, right? Yeah. Yes, it does. Alright, so problem is that if this pairs me, the game is basically over, but we uh, I have to go for an agility here. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, well, let's start Bolton, then screw it. Let's start bolting. Yeah, they've got me. They got me cooked here. My crit on the lax was so devastating. We do get a crit of our own, which is ne which was necessary. But this is uh, not a good situation for me whatsoever. Stormy is nowhere close to waking up. This is faster. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's paired. But I don't Oko, and it does. I mean, what about Stormy? Stormy does not kill me. So it, is it actually worth risking this? No. So I'm actually... Perhaps going chancy on the explosion. 
It seems like the best move. Okay. Now we're just going to try to bolt this down to death. Because if for some reason they give their chance up, we can freeze fish again on like the Starmie or something. Not that I even need to do that. Because, yes, this Starmie doesn't beat me. But this way I can potentially para the Tauros too if it comes in. That's it way. Oh no, that's. Never mind. Just a mid roll. Which way? No, I'm still okay. But uh, yeah, here comes Tauros to. Just devastate my entire team. Alright, turn one. <laughs> turn one, wake up with me, Daiba. Oh my gosh, there's no way. That's crazy. I actually turn one bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Didn't think I would. Didn't think I would. This guy's fun. I like him. <laughs> turn one? No, the turn one is crazy. Um, dang, I wasn't even ready for that. What the heck do I do now? I guess I sack Zapdos. For sure, yeah. Because this is not... Well, I guess it does live. It does live one. But I have less odds than if I go Chansey. Well, you didn't know that. That's crazy. Not knowing that it's diabolical. Oh my gosh, Parahex. Go crazy. <laughs> para, full para again. Full para again. Oh no. Okay, not so not so much. Alright, well, here's where it uh, here's where I get frozen. Oh, okay, that's good. That's very good for me. Now the freeze clause is given up. And you have to go stormy. Yeah, I don't think you T-bolt here, so I get my recover. Oh, that was a good move. Yeah, I should have been ready for that. It's T-bolt two hit kills, right? Yeah, so I have to... I guess wave this. Wow, well played. I'm kind of throwing, <laughs> like, bad. <laughs> yeah, let me... Yeah, let's, let's relax a little bit. Let me just get some chip on this. Because my chances should be okay. So I only need one slam for my beam. Uh, maybe you shouldn't even risk. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> I want to beam here, but Loki don't. Okay, good. Right, so now we should win. We're, we're in a good spot to win here. Get some slammers off. There we go. Um, oh, I actually, <laughs> Tormus actually loses. Well, well, unless I do that. Because now I can uh, beam. GG. It's a fun match. I like it. This guy's cool. He's a good attitude for sure. Uh, Gen six seems fun right now. Let's do it. No, we'll have a we'll have a sprite gen. Well, yeah, we'll have a sprite gen, a old color gen, and then a three D gen in our live. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out CBB, the CB boat. Pretty got him, CB boat. Let's check them still alive. All the fire. Who remembers?
numbers to that rap. Seven got blown boy, seven got blown boy. What was that? That was the trailer for their match in Oras, right? I think, I think it was, which is poetic considering uh, we're playing it right now. <sighs> so, gosh, what's even going to lead here? I think Vulcanian is pretty safe. Screw it. Oh gosh, Earthquake Oko's me. Oh wait, no, this, this is not Mega Swamper. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm perfectly alright uh, doing that. Especially because of that. She's getting up rocks. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what's Steam Eruption? 90 accuracy. 95? <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> 95 is a diabolical, although I thought it was 90 or something. I mean, this has to be... Uh, sash. I think I can get a spin-off at some point in this game. Actually, come to think of it, this Serp doesn't do anything. It's Scarf. It's Scarf Needle King. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> Loki, I want to pursue it and freaking just wreck its entire day because, yeah, I'm doing that. How much does this do? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good damage. Good damage. Hard, uh, Zap on the Scrafty, because what the heck is it going to do to me? Mm, the answer is, of course, absolutely nothing. We can catch this. Uh-oh. Wait, what is Mega Manatrix ability? It's Intimidate, yeah. So I will just... Ah, oh, credit, come on, man. That actually is so bad for me. Alright, hopefully he recognizes that, um... Uh, sand rush doesn't stay in. Mm, but there, it's low ladder. I can't rely on that. Screw it. No. <laughs> oh, that's so devastating. Like, come on, man. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> You need this so bad. I mean, I guess you don't. Well, no, because you don't you outspeed Volk. You know, you don't outspeed Volk. I'm pursuing this as well. We are not escaping, gang. Oh my gosh, what can I even do? Since we're just SDs and wins. That's so freaking annoying. I have no way to deal with this. Unless it's not SD, which it might not be. Um, well, this is Scarf. Uh, oh, I know. Scarf. What if it's Monist Scarf? It actually doesn't do that much. But, well, I should let it just lock in, yeah. <clears throat> You really jabbed? Man, uh... <laughs> <that's>, <clears throat> this guy's frustrating. Why would you log into jab? Well, at least this isn't an issue anymore. Which is very good for me. Yeah, this is upsetting. I should've just EQ'd. It would've been okay. Well, this does not do... This does not do what you think it does. Nothing. Hmm. Well, I think I just stack this, right? Let me pursue, because pursue kills. Yeah. And now I can, uh... Steam and miss again. <laughs> On the 95 accuracy move. <laughs> I don't know, which is good. Scrafty. No, 
this is a good uh, question here. Oh no, I should just stay meow. Nice little burn there. But uh, are you even? You're not even faster. I know this has to be and doesn't get to set up and dies to uh, it's a heat wave. So that's good for me. We pulled it together in the end, although. If I think about it, drill kind of swept anyways. So it, it was a mistake for me to try to preserve Volk with drill. Because my drill does just win on its own, more or less. And, well, maybe not, because I mean, the thing is, this was always a, a real issue at the time. Especially with the rocks up, so I'm not sure. Maybe it wasn't the worst play. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness it didn't nasty. Oh my gosh. Well, I should win Zapdos. Yeah, I threw by not going Zapdos. Hard Zap should have been the move there. GG. Good game, nevertheless. Get it done. GG's all around. <laughs> oh, I love Eternal Forest theme so much. I want to play with a Sing Chansey theme. Let's see what we have. I like Jinx. Counter is diabolical. The tag. Oh, it jinxes lovely kiss. I'm stupid. <laughs> no, let's do that, actually. This stormy team? Let's try some jinx, stormy. Right on. <clears throat> Little sip of my water. Ooh, this is a good player ult if I've ever seen one. Go. Uh, nice. We'll go for the Blizzy. A little Blizzy on him. Because, I, I mean, with Stormy and Chatsy, and this is probably Bolt Beam as well, I definitely have a good chance to uh, get some rests off in this game and, like, You know, make that happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm spamming Psychic because I don't want this Starmie to be able to burn my uh, blizzards. We stay fishing. Uh-oh. Okay, fair enough. I have no choice. I guess we'll do a beam war here. Or at least I'm certainly willing to do that. Alright, let's see. May the, may the best freezer freeze. <laughs> Critical hit. What if I kill them before? <laughs> that would be diabolical if I kill them before the freeze. Well, see, I do get one more uh, beam off because of that. So, better odds. Would I be willing to die? Perhaps. Risking death for the freeze is kind of hard. That's like some ride or die type stuff. That's, all, that's some cra that's crazy activities. I mean, to be honest, my Jinx kind of wreaks havoc. Um, of course, I haven't seen the rest of their team, but you know, like, it, it was certainly up here that it does. So, like, I'm certainly ready to open the path for this Jinx to go, to go wild. The 256 base is crazy. Nah, sorry, alright, I lost my, uh, <clears throat> looks like I lost my uh, odds. <laughs> I, 
need to be careful too. Um, how much does Beam do to Jinx? 10 and then 22. <sighs> I want to so I mean, I, I want to go for the freeze. This is a good time to get my rest off though. Oh, this is such a hard situation. Because <laughs> it's way worse for me if I get frozen, I think. Actually, no, it isn't. Yeah. Okay, so I did get my beam back. I'm actually willing to go even harder on this. Because I, I think... Because I have Jinx's Freeze as well. I actually am like a lot um, more comfortable with uh, this being frozen, if that makes sense. Just because this isn't my only freeze source. Nice. And we win this freeze war anyways. So it doesn't even matter. Hard right on. I'm feeling it. Yup. Just sub up on this boy. Actually, what does EQ do? EQ does a lot. So what if I tail whip? Um, yeah, I'm gonna tail whip. <clears throat> the tail whip tech is awesome. Uh, yes, they have reflect. I'm gonna whip on them twice. <clears throat> Venusaur. Venusaur's their sleeper? Are you crazy? That's... Oh, wow. Respect. So this is, this is a twist I was not ready for. <laughs> it really sucks, because if I EQ'd, I would've done... I would've made so much progress on this. Now that I know it, though, I may as well do that. Yeah. Just give up the... Stormy, because it's surf anyway, so what the heck is it doing to me? Um, this two hit KOs? What about through reflect? Yeah, reflect up. Um, I mean, this is minus one death, though, so if I. Ooh. Wait, doesn't this. Didn't that overroll? Or no? It seems like it overrolled it, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. Tauros. Hmm. Maybe they go for Blizzard here. Problem is one crit on any of these. Yeah. Works to reflect, huh? <clears throat> Actually, wait, does it? Yeah, crit breaks through reflect. <clears throat> and here's a pretty good chance to get him, too. <clears throat> Question is, do I just hyper beam for chip here? Because, well, it depends on the last. But it's a risky move. <clears throat> I'll hit one slam. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's going to, he's really behind now, and that just made it even worse. No freeze either. So I think you beam here going for crates. You do. Doesn't get it. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, I feel bad for this person. The hacks is tough. Oh, they have a. Right on two. I kind of wall it with reflect though, unless it has its own uh, tail slap. And if it well, but if it does, I don't really, I can't really stay in here. Yeah, so you get your sub. If this is tail whip. Um, I said tail slap. <laughs> tail whip. If 
this is too low. Oh, okay. That complicates things tremendously. <clears throat> Do I go Tauros? No, Tauros is too valuable of a commodity. I'll risk my right on. It's better to risk losing right on entirely, uh, which I don't. Which is so that's phenomenal. Then uh, the alternative. We can go Snorlax here, which is an issue because I already have expended my status. Which is, this is actually a very real way that I lose. I need to get a T wave off. Does Hyper Beam Oko me? It does. Oh gosh, did I just throw? I think I just lost. Yeah, I, I actually just put myself in a losing position. Oh, I'm so bad at months, man. It, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad how bad I am. Really good at least. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, well, do I fish? Do, I mean, I could fish for crits, feasibly. Um, well, the question is, how much can I risk against this? Because I still have some time to waste on my... I mean, I should have one chance in T-Wave done that. It's just, <laughs> if it has been... No, that's so bad. If I get it to rest, then that's all I need. I just need it to rest. Right. Good. So I'll Blizzy again. Blizzy Blossomler. Good. Um, so I'll go Lax here. Oh, but if, you, if you're a goat, you go Tauros, though. Don't you? But I can sec Stormy to sleep, however. So I have options if he switches. Yeah, I knew that was coming, but it's okay because I can just go Stormy. And uh, sack this. Or potentially get it back to health. Is the other thing about it. Okay, so no healing is going to take place, but it's okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's fine. I should have, I should have attacked. I mean, the thing is <laughs> that I'm in a much worse position if I don't do it. This is still okay, if that makes sense. Chansey does not live a hyper beam, so I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> if I beam. I actually like my odds if I beam. Giving up the freeze? Wow. <clears throat> I am surprised. <clears throat> I think you burn the sleep turn here. Going Tauros again is kind of diabolical. But the thing is that I can sack Jinx too, if it really comes down to it. So... Good, and they didn't uh, do it either. Well, reflect. If I reflect, Hyper Beam still kills me, so I'm gonna rest up. Really? Stormy? Okay. No, this is tough. See, this is RBY endgames. This is something I don't... Uh, I, I don't ooh, alright, this is unfamiliar territory. So this is good stuff for me to improve. The double out is likely. I can sack Jinx. And then... I think I can sack my Jinx, because I, I want to get 
Jinx in and like rest up. But am I ever going to have an opportunity to wake up from that? Is the question. Because if he goes Lax here, I mean, this Lax just beats Starmie, so. I'm just going to slam it down because I think it's going to be okay if I do that. So yeah, I'll just beam here, you know? Good. Yeah, that was, that was what I wanted. <laughs> Although, the only thing is that I can't, uh, I probably can't ever get Jinx in again. But the thing is, I've now, now that he did that, I have sleep and freeze claws right now. Not that I think I have a chance to get him off. Yeah, I don't really have a chance to get him off, so I guess that's not bad for him. But, um, still. I'm actually going to reflect because I think they might try to PP stall me. Nice. So I'm actually going to go for the PP stall angle. Because <laughs> I think that's the best way to go about this. Actually, maybe it's not. Because these crits are diabolical. Alright. So like, he's desperate. Why though? Why would you be desperate right now? Alright, let's beam it. Good idea. But uh, it's kind of risky, isn't it? Okay, if I slam crit, do I kill? Yeah, so I don't, I don't have to go for a... Uh... Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. So, sleep, wake up on turn two. I can, I can do two hyper beams. I think going for two hyper beams. Well, I've, so wait, if I slam one turn of way of sleep, I get two slams and one hyper beam. Just three chances to crit. Or I get a beam and, well, wait, if I slam... Maybe I slam, slam, beam. The other thing about it is that double slam beaming, I mean, double beaming saves PP. But I can miss at the same time. Now, if I go hard Tauros, Blizzard does not owe us. I mean, it's not the uh, killing tier. So that's not a worthy idea. Or actually, wait, 10 and then 23. No, doesn't do enough at all. I'm just trying to figure out if slamming and then beaming is better. Or if beaming... I think I double beam. Right, I double beam because it burns more turns. And then I go for winning this tie and beaming it. Is what it is. They had no uh, choice there, really. So it is PP stall for the time being. Back to the PP stall. Gets Taurus in. I think he's just fishing for a crit on the free turn and then going back is what's happening. But you gotta be careful with that, my boy, because I have another beam in store for you. Or I suppose a slam, right? Yeah, I should slam and then beam. Because, uh, yeah, I have a 7% chance, but if I crit, that's a 100% chance, you know? Oh, <laughs> when I hit, the, I hit the max roll? Oh, my goats. Oh, my, my la lax, my goats. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, don't do it to me. Oh no. Oh no, I already see my future. <laughs> I already see my future. Don't do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Does Jinx live a body? No, it's not. Oh no. Okay, so I'm actually going to go Jinx. 
psychic. Okay. Go chancing T wave. Yes. Yes. Min roll. <laughs> Actual min roll. Oh. And see, that's why you don't just go Taurus. Always play your odds. Having to get getting a max roll and then a min roll on is kind of cringe, though. I um I feel bad for that, but I mean I certainly had ways into this game though, because with Snorlax playing around with the rests, um I had ample opportunity to kind of recover my jinx and chancing, I think, and I don't regret now predicting this Tauros. Uh, on what turn was it? Uh, I think it was. Where was it? It was somewhere in here. Um, hit a nice double into Tauros. Right. Um, I knew that Tauros was coming in here. Uh, pretty obviously. But, you know, you have to look at your risk reward uh, in all situations. Because, for example, here. If I don't attack let's say I keep attacking this Snorlax. I do kill the Tauros and probably win instantly. But let's say he burns the sleep turn, which is the normal play here. Then all of a sudden, I have no way to get my Lax in. And I literally have one healthy Pokemon here, which is my Tauros. Because my chance he's in beam range. My... Me and Jinx are effectively dead. Without a T-Wave, but I can't get a para on this without Chansey and risking Chansey's life. Because I think, uh, yeah, Beam kills it. I mean, I am faster, so I would get the T-Wave, but like, at this point in the battle, is giving Chansey up worth it for Jinx when, you know, Jinx takes, you know, let's say I'm 100 uh, health. Jinx can get repaired by uh, Slam. It dies to all the attacks at its current health. And, you know, again, if it wakes up, it could get para full parrot, or you know, any crit will. Even a crit body slam like destroys it. Whereas I think Chansey can take a Chansey can take a crit body slam at least. So, you know, it was a nice play to get them back in the game because they had to do that. Um. And I knew that, and so I could have crushed him right then and there. Uh, by going, you know, into my own Taurus. But to see, the thing is, I don't necessarily even... Or, or, well, no, I attack. I attack with my Taurus there, sorry. Because my Taurus was in before the switch, I did. See, so, yeah, I could have devastated the Taurus. Um... See if I don't. It's a throw to do that. It's much better to just do this. It's a way better positional play. That was a good game, though. Pretty close, too. Very close game. So I'll download that one. That was a good one for sure. We'll probably be showing that one uh, on stream. Because, yeah, that was one of, the, one of the things I wanted to say. One of the things I wanted to say, because I don't believe I uh, actually went into it. Yeah, when I stream Showdown on Twitch, I think I want to try, like, room tours. Um, maybe team building with fun Pokemon that you all can suggest. Because I do want to get back into team building, too. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the metas yet. But, you know, as I get uh, more acquainted, more uh, back into the game and uh, other such sentiments, um, I think team building could be really cool. We could do it with some interesting mods. Make some fun stuff, and it would be a fun activity on stream where uh, everyone can like interact and, and input. And then we're going to be reviewing uh, and kind of breaking down interesting games uh, like this or tournament games, because, you know, analysis is one of the best ways to improve. Although I don't, I don't think my analysis is anywhere at the level where it's worth putting on YouTube yet or even anytime soon, of course. So that's why... We're just going to stick to the traditional playing format uh, for now. Uh, when I 
it comes to it. But okay, great Gen 1 action. Uh, there, that was nice. All this sinnoh has got me feeling a little DPP, so let's get into it. Shoutouts to Grandpop for this, uh, team. This is one of my, oh no, it's not that one. Um, here. This is one of my favorite, uh, DPP teams so far. Probably is my favorite DPP team, actually, without a doubt. At this point in time. There's so many, like, potent threats. Great, uh, you know, T-Spikes, always appreciated. Uh, sleep as well. Really good stuff. Gen 4 ladder is a little less active, so I'm actually going to start a Gen 8 game. Maybe even 9. The only thing is with the gouging fire ban, I kind of want to wait for teams to update. Although I think my I think my team is... Uh, it doesn't use gouging fire, but I think it will still uh, be able to deal with the meta, I guess. It's this one. Um... I just stole it from someone who was playing official ladder tournament <laughs> when they were going for the quals. Um, I think this is a good player. If I'm not uh, forgetting this alt. Oh, it's a totally new account. Just, they literally just made it today. Well, for all I know, they could be then. <coughs> we'll just have to see. Uh, usually Samurai is who he leads. Right, so um, go to Gen 9 just because it's a quick game. Now we can start searching. Uh, I certainly don't want to start doing uh, multiple games. <laughs> it's just this is the best uh, way to get something going sometimes. And we instantly get a game, of course. So that's frustrating. <laughs> looks like we'll be. Looks like we will be doing a doubler. Alright, so Glide kind of wrecks my entire... Actually, Rilla kind of wrecks my entire team. <laughs> In general. So that sucks. Uh, let me turn. That's concerning. That means I probably used Woodhammer, didn't I? Um, mm, I mean, Hammer just Oko's my entire team. So, like, what the heck am I supposed to do about that? Oh, you turned beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's insane damage. That thing is in shambles already. Okay. Um, this is indeed faster. It's probably gonna taunt me. So I'm just gonna leave Storm. Yeah. Oh. 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 That. Well, Leaf Storm's not too accurate, right? <laughs> I'm the act. Oh, well, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Well, I'm just gonna storm here again, yeah. And then probably go hard, Suicune. Okay, I went to Corv. Just get rocks here. And doesn't do much at all. Uh, I'm gonna go hard pawn. Actually, I should just go raging. I don't wanna do that too preemptively though. Actually, screw it. Let's just send him in. I just wanna waste my proto boost. We can go king and it'll be safer. Oh, but then I give him some serious momentum with uh, Samurai tonight. Let's see. I'm not too familiar with this meta at all. Uh, I do give him momentum, but whatever. I, I, should, I theoretically live a samurai hit. Uh, let's 
I want to sub, but I can't risk the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would've been bad to take that trip on this weekend, so that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> like, they're certainly taking their time in the Gen 9 game. The big star... Are they giving Stormy's ice beams these days? Is the question. I don't know, but I'm gonna go Scarf Raji. Hit a nice little U turn. Do some big damage. Because if this is like. Yeah, beautiful. So do I want to go. What do I want to go here? Let's go raid and get our. Uh, if we can. Ice Punch does Oko me. I mean, honestly, Leaf Storm might be the higher percentage play. Just get that much needed chip. Ooh, what's this do? Probably absolutely nothing, right? So let me just freaking flame that guy. I mean, I can take a, I can handle a future sight. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. Odor Drive. Now, does this thing have Sleep Talk? It does not appear to. I mean, can I just HP ground and, like, do insane... The answer is yes. Uh, but I'm gonna get a spike up. Oh, this is scary. One boost to this thing can wreak havoc. So I'm afraid of its potential. Okay, this is nothing against my uh, slow king. Oh, I actually can no go it. Oh gosh, I kind of need it too. My pawn can take a hit though. That's faster. <clears throat> we'll just go hard ogre. The future sight, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, I'm bad. This is why you don't run multiple battles. <laughs> It's, it's stuff like this that uh, really sells it, you know? I'm gonna hit a pulse in case uh, Iron Hands comes in because I don't want to put up with that nonsense. Actually, don't I... Yeah, I 2AK two, I two with Dragon Pulse. Just say we're on 2AK on me, though. No, it took it two hits with nothing, so I'm not gonna... Yeah, I have 30 seconds in that battle. Wow. The DD. Yeah. Give up my Rose Raid. And then Iron Head and hopefully don't die and hope I'm faster. Iron Diddy, huh? <laughs> yeah, good thing I went for Pulse. <clears throat> this guy's no time either, though, so he might lose to that. Like, just on its own. Just thunderclap, kill, no. I have to bolt here. The, the time cruncher is insane. They're actually gonna time out unironically. Uh, I get a boost here. Yep, it does nothing, so it's all good. Ooh. This guy's got threats on threats, huh? I need to think about that. Let me cook. I'm just gonna pulse in case of any weird stuff. <clears throat> Here. I think CB Rilla. Oh, wait, no. It, it. Wow, you sacked your answer to this. That's crazy. Okay, let's, let's see about Scarf Rachi. Iron Head's a four hit kill? Alright, well. <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> Steadfast? Oh my gosh. I'm terrible. I won this game anyways, don't worry. Oh no. I just threw. I threw so hard. No. I have to hope it doesn't have crunch. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I 
Oh no, I lost. I actually lost. Oh no. I should have just gave you the boost. And then I could have fire punched with Jirachi. And yeah, fire punch with Oak Code. I wasn't ready for these threats. Damn, I'm terrible. Yeah, wow. Ah, uh, I see this is why you have to think. If I switch down, I always outspeed and I can. Mm, that sucks. What a devastating loss, okay. That's a soul crushing loss. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to win with like Jirachi doing some insane hacks, and I can't even do that because I just can't. I physically can't do that. I won, man. I won. Well, hopefully, I can play against this player again. Wait. Okay, lock in. Lock in. Hold on. I actually live to e-speed. I don't know why you would ever e-speed there when you can crunch. Wait, why did I start another game? Oh, I thought I lost. That's why. <laughs> I remember now. We can't get rocks off, so I just have to surf. Okay. Iron head into the, the sunset. Really creative. I like it. Hmm. Tingrus. Uh. Hmm. This puts me in a predicament already. Well, just T spike and see what it does. Yeah, EQ is natural. I lose my sesh, but it's okay. Uh, wow, Tangrowth kind of sixes my entire team. <laughs> um, wow, three the goats. Well, I got a thunderbolt. What is Shadow Ball? Maybe I just sub in Shadow Ball. Hmm, okay. I, I actually don't care about my Rotom's health that much. So yeah, let's just try to wear that guy down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost timed out on this one. Yeah, the Shadow Ball is doing good damage. Oh wow, you have Roar. That's guy. Hmm. I don't want to, well, I guess I did just reveal on the scarf. No, it's just iron. I'm, s I need a, I, I, you turned. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm fumbling. This is a champ, he's not even going to flinch, it's just going to kill me. Yeah, GG. Yeah, I'm tilting, I think. I'm tilting hard. I mean, this, it, why would I not U-turn? You just U-turn every time. I need Jirachi so bad. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting in my... I'm, I'm fumbling hard. Might be time to give it up for now. Um, we get a Brox while I'm here. Protect on the uh, mm, I think he's gonna ice beam. But I cannot afford to do I can't I I can't I can't I, I cannot give up. <laughs> nice. Good thing I didn't because oh my gosh, that would have been horrific. 
so I get pursuit trapped by Scizor, but it's okay. Losing my Chirachi was... Uh, triggering to say the least. This thing's not about to DD up on me, is it? Please just be pursued. Thank goodness. I'm totally okay with that, my friend. And then we're gonna... Should I just beam on the tang? Nice. Uh, well, not nice, but... Right, so... Tang growth... I'm gonna CM. I think, right? Actually... No, it's less than 50 to Oka, though. Ooh, perfect. So now I, now I attack. Because this Oka is for sure. I did not deserve to win this game, but it looks like I might be now. I get a plus, I'm plus one, I'm subbed. I have T-Spike on the field. Uh, at least, like, two, if not three of these mons, uh... Oh, Custep, really? That's... That could be bad for me. I do just lose to Infernape last. Because it'll U-turn twice. Okay. So how do I assess this situation? This is such a tough predicament, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what that last is. This is why we need this calc. Because I need to see, let's say it's an Infernape or a Lucario. Lucario is way more likely. It does. 60. Yeah, it okay. So I just got to pump it up. And I blow it back. So it's, oh, it is quite all right. We got blown back. Ooh. I see. How perilous is that? Draco two hits. Surf is T ball. They could have T ball though. I think I want to keep Suicune just because of how uh, essential it is to beating Tar. Because there's actually very little guarantee that I actually beat Tar, um, you know, without without that uh, help. So I'm gonna Heatran. Hope it's not a late game setup, Latias. It doesn't appear to be considering the Draco there. So I think we secure a win from this point. Yeah, because now I can do that. I can uh, protect from even more poison damage. Um, Sack Roserade. Ooh, Focus Punch is crazy. But I'm not going to let the CQ me. Because, yeah, Roserade is always the play here. And now we go into Drain. And uh, we'll explode. Uh, yeah. GG. <coughs> really mm, giving up the. Giving up Rachi like that. We need to say, wait, why does this team get 6 0 by Jirachi? Yeah, that team needs some work. There's no doubt about that, like, whatsoever. Mm, that's just not a good team, but... <laughs> yeah, that, make, that makes throwing my Jirachi that early all the worse, especially when so many pokes were revealed to let me know I needed to keep it. Okay. Gen 9 game is kind of cool. Let's try one more. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm not sure how long we're going to go for. Mono Dark. I 
nice little mono dark action. Um, maybe I'll queue for a GSC once I'm halfway into this one. I like the idea of that. A lot of these outspeed, but Ogre can take it. Yeah. Ogre can take it from most of these threats. Uh, what about, uh, what about Gunk Shot? Yeah. Now he eats. He devours. Mummy. Protean. Protean. Oh. Protean. Gunk Shot does outgo, but okay. In that case, how about I just Terra Whip? Yeah. Terra and a whip. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> oh, I love seeing that Ogre Pawn whip hit because I think this blows people back. It is so strong. I almost want to whip this too, but I know it's a bad idea. Oh wow, I should have. Now I think would it I think we got blown back. Well, let's start setting up. Screw it. Okay. If I see him twice on the wish protect, I'm doing it. This works because if it's way here, check it out. So now on the protect. Gets to see him again, and I'm gonna get probably two kills here. I imagine. Oh no, I guess we file kills me with ice shard. Yeah. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Wait, what were the odds on that? <laughs> okay. I, I guess in that case, I'll just save it for a. Uh, Oh, just save it for <laughs> priority thunderclap if I need to. At least I, I survived uh, my roll too, so that's good. All is well. I feel like they made Umbreon look ugly. And this, you see the sprite, it's so weird. A terrible poison, really? Why do you want this to live so bad? <clears throat> what is your obsession with it? Yeah, yeah, I don't. I'm so confused. Uh, well, you're not getting out of this, though, yeah. Now that you tear it, you're cooked. <clears throat> cooked expeditiously. Mm-hmm. What is this gonna SD? Probably. No, I'll just go Tusking. Yeah. We <laughs> do over half there. Which is good. I don't think I live Roaring Moon anymore. Oh, I actually do quite easily. So let's, uh, in that case, let's go to King, King Gambit. Yeah. Way better to preserve this. And I'm actually gonna sucker in case. No. If it's low kick, it's just gonna clap me up. It's fine. It's actually not fine. It kind of sweeps. But good thing I didn't because that is taking some serious damage um and let's assume it's choice band I guess and see how much this does to me two hit kill okay but Adam <clears throat> no then we still we live unconditionally so mm, but I could always just go landers and be fine so I'd rather do that because King Gambit has a better idea uh, there's a better chance against uh, Calarian Moltres. <clears throat> G 
she's a special attacker. You know, I'm defensive King Gambit on this team because I believe that's what he used. The crit's uh, unfortunate to say the least, but considering the threat has been neutralized, uh, I feel pretty uh, alright about that. I'm gonna go Ogre. The two bait in the Weavile. And then go hard uh, Tusk. To get that sweet, sweet damage. Not actually as effective as I want it though, yeah. Because of course he's going to knock off. So now he actually just gets to Axel me. So I actually, I actually, that was really bad of me there. My Sucker Punch kills though now. So it's okay. But definitely the, the better sequence was to like, maybe give up the Ogre or give up my Slow King. Well, I mean, I think my Slow King actually kind of walls the, uh, the Galarian Moltres Psyche. So I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, let me, gosh, you're doing too much. Uh, let me just sack, uh, Il Landorus. So let's see about 75 one hand is bad news. So what about King Gambit? If I have two fallen. If I have two fallen, I wonder if this accounts for it. I don't think it does. Let's see. I don't think it accounts for the fallen. Um, Moltres, Kalar. Let's see. Two. Sucker, 26. Yeah, no. No, it's not. Do nearly enough. Might have just lost. <laughs> this, because I know it gets roost. If it roosts up on me, it's going to do some serious damage. And that's why I didn't go to Raging Ball. Does get the Oko? Okay. This is bad. I need to give up like my entire team. Oh wait. Oh, Ogre Pond's faster. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Nah, it's fine. I yeah, have a speed boost. And this is yeah. I control it for a guaranteed GG. Um, it, is, it could be scarf, but yeah. GG. They did well for Mono Dark for sure. They, they almost won. But why he speaks a terrible at Gen 9. <laughs> That's also very possible. Uh, we can play. Let's play a Gen 7 game. Just do some uh, traditional rain. Why not? Looking for a comfort game because I'm EP, as you can tell by my uh, yawning. <laughs> Maybe the last one. To finish it off. Well, we didn't play any advanced. Maybe we should play one game each gen. If that's the case. We've one, four, five, six, and nine covered. So I have to do eight, two, and three. Surgeon. And seven is taking a little bit. Nice. Three chicks mafias. So this is obviously a good account. Uh, just starting out. And they have a bit of a semi stallish thing going on. <coughs> I think they should lead Corv here because. Any, anything else gets absolutely humiliated by Mill Metal, so, um, I'm actually going to lead Blaze again. There's a chance they go Clef. Maybe the idea is that by going Clef, they can pivot into Corviknight if they need, if, if it is Mill Metal. Uh, 
Maybe I should have. I feel like I should have Thunder Punch on this team. To deal with, uh... You know, I have Urshifu and Rilla for, like, Landorus and stuff. I think Thunder would be better for Corv because I don't have any moves on Lele that even hit Corv, so Corv's actually a big problem. Uh, you know, defensively, I, I think I might do that, actually. Even though it's not my team. Because, like, I'm trying to think of what Ice Punch does that Thunder... Or that I really, really need. I mean, you have Dragapult, right? But Dragapult kind of gets de uh, demolished by Dib, doesn't it? Uh, no. Let's see. Let's see. Dragapult. Yeah, literally it's Okut, so screw it. Let's make it, uh... Let's make it Thunder. Thunder Punch. I'm just gonna that'll also uh, remove some guessing games of Toxapex too. Be this being able to hit Toxapex and uh, Corviknight is fearsome. If they time out, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna count it as a Gen 8 game because <laughs> oh, I wanna play more Gen 8 right now. <laughs> Make it all. Uh, do this. I love Mency Rain more, but. Uh, I have PTSD from the time there was a stall team that I had to play against, and I didn't have the tools to beat it. So, just knowing you have a stall win button, more or less, is, is really nice. Unless you have, um, the right defect, because I have a... It actually walls, uh, non-energy ball Manaphy, and it might even wall energy ball Manaphy. I just stole that used um, block Pukamuku to PP stall, and it was unaware, of course. And so you could PP stall a lot of Manaphy variants, and that was how I came out, overcome, overcame uh, Rain. It was a fire team. I might have to bust it out sometime. Either in one of these videos or a tour game, I cooked in Gen 7 building. Oh my gosh, I love Gen 7 building so much. When, oh, it's like... Yeah, listen, you eat so well. And, uh, as a Gen 7 builder. Highly recommend it. Um, right, so let's see. Man, I know the Rotom Wash lead is coming. So I guess I'll just, yeah do this so I can get my rocks up because they don't even have a they actually don't even have a defogger well one well, knows this isn't it yeah just rocks up uh, then um I guess Pelly and then Scald seems fine to me because I don't, I don't think having a uh, long reign is going to be too important in this game. As much as uh, chipping this pharaoh, chipping the pharaoh is going to have way more value to me. So let's knock here. Kind of wish I was AV for this team, but the helm is going to mean, this will do super well against Mimikyu. Maybe just go hard mana, yeah. What does Z Inferno do to... Wow, it does freaking nothing. Are you... That's crazy. Low-key, I'm just gonna U-turn hard into Gren. And then, uh... Take whatever this is. It could, well, it could be, well, no, no, air balloon popped, so, yeah. Can't even do that. I mean, yeah, what is it? Literally no switch into Dark Pulse here. Besides staying in. Well, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Dark Pulse is... 47? Hold on. This has to be, like, special. This has to be defensive, right? Um, 
پیس بدم This is probably what I should sack, though. Yeah, it's what I should sack. Of all the mons. No, go Pelly. Go Pelly because Swampert, uh, Oko's this back. It's faster. And I already conceded my swift swim to it. So it's all good. So yeah, we just waterfall. We waterfall and everything's okay. So now they're in the think tank. The thing is they can trace my swift swim, which is really bad. But like, not actually for me. Really. Is this like Oko with Shuriken? Not at all. So... <laughs> yeah, it looks like I ate. This being leftovers too is wild. And I know you get to go Zam and... Uh, Revenge me now. Well, actually, do I live? Wow, so I have to go this and like Z? Well, they are gonna... Sorry about that. Um, so does the Z move... Do I even have time to contemplate that? No. 
Uh, let's just throw the game. Oh, his red card. Oh, okay. I mean, my shuriken will devour this, so it's fine. Hmm, drain punch. Void's power whip, all right. It being at full is actually a massive issue for me. Keeps boosting. Yeah, you do not take kindly to that whip, though, do you? Strain punch is not going to give us anything at this point, right? 23. Do I kill... 56 Oko? Hmm... Oh wait, this is out, this outspeeds. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Forgot about it outspeeding. Hmm. I see. I see indeed. Hmm. Oh wait, whoa! No, it's just wait. No, it's guaranteed sure again. Yeah, my other mom speeds him, so I don't even need to necessarily KO this with Shuriken. One, two, three. Uh, if it's CMs, this could be... Well, no, it's okay. I have to go Manaphy, of course. Z, Hydro. In case he has Recover. Nice. clear this each run. So good game. Pretty close though. I mean, well, hmm, there was a lot of distractions involved, which I apologize for. Yeah, we should be good here. And uh, yeah, sorry to end it abruptly, but there's our first showdown laddering session. So let me know what you think. Uh, this Thursday, uh, September 12th, I will be live streaming some Pokemon Showdown. We're going to be reviewing replays, maybe doing some room tours, maybe building a wild team. Uh, it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and I would love to see you there if you've watched this far. If you have, thank you so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing and leaving a comment as well if you would like to see more of this type of content. If you'd like to see me go for number one or anything uh, similar related to that, anything related to PS, because uh, we'll see if this becomes more of a piece of the channel more and more over time. But until then, thank you all so much. Until next time, it's been Melcy Wrath.